Hey team, today's recipe is a weeknight special. Tuesday night, because we all know Tuesday night is quick and easy. We are doing my pesto quinoa pasta, but I'm uh, changing the pesto a little bit. I'm creating a vegan friendly opportunity. It also showcases the flavor and teaches you how you can build umami without having to use your typical flavors like parmesan cheese. What is umami? Great question. It is a savory flavor note. You find it in Parmigiano Reggiano, even tomato seeds, mushrooms. It's a really nice, beautiful, savory note that really embodies a lot of our tasty wins. So integrating that along with our sweet, our salt, our bitter, and our sour is super essential. Today, I'm swapping Parmigiano Reggiano for miso paste, yes a typical Italian dish integrating a Japanese ingredient. I know it sounds a bit weird, but I'm showcasing how you can swap umami for umami and still get the same wins. The second best thing about this recipe, besides the taste, is the fact that it is very quick to make. First thing we need to do is get a pot of water onto a boil. While we're waiting for this legend to boil, let's talk about our ingredients. All of which can be seen down here, and if you subscribe, you know you can see it on the website as well. So we've got some basil, some beautiful basil here, some almonds, so we're gonna get a little nutty effect, which from Parmesan the Reggiano you naturally get, so you get that umami nutty flavor. So we're gonna have the combination of these two, almonds and miso, doing the same thing as Parmesan the Reggiano. So if you are vegan, this is a combination you would love to do. We also have some garlic. Of course we do. You can actually roast this as well to get a little sweeter taste. And to do that, you just wrap this in aluminium foil with a little bit of olive oil, uh, and then in the oven at 350 or 180 degrees for about 20 minutes or until jammy. This is what we're talking about, the quinoa pasta. So the time it takes for your quinoa pasta to cook is the time it takes for you to prepare this dish. The only thing it takes longer is waiting for your water to boil. Now, if you haven't already seen, make sure you jump over to my Instagram page because you can learn how to perfectly cook gluten-free pasta. And in that recipe video, I actually use quinoa pasta. So we're gonna do that again today. And of course, we actually got these beautiful mushrooms from Norwich Farms. These are actually from an upstate farmer. These are chanterelles. You can have a look, they're beautiful, golden, very natural in their habitat. And they just have a, like just a super field of nuttiness that I love. Uh, again, savory umami goodness right there. Water's boiling. Time to add a pinch of salt or a solid amount of salt, to be honest. You want your water tasting like the Mediterranean Sea. Boom, just like that. Adding in our quinoa pasta. Let's move on to our pesto goodness. So we've got here a little mixer. You can also use, you know, use your hands, get in a mixing bowl, a mortar and pestle, very traditional. I'm definitely gonna get one of those. So into this, you're gonna add our liquid first good quality extra virgin olive oil full of fantastic fats that we love fantastic for the brain into that we're gonna add everything just add in your solid amount of miso your garlic your basil and of course your nutty almonds Oh, it genuinely smells like pesto. So obviously that umami Parmigiano Reggiano kind of situation. Loving that, let's do a little bit of a taste. Yeah, wow. So keeping an eye on this pasta, it's starting to get to the point where the water's getting quite starchy, which means some of the contents inside of the pasta are getting into the water. So what we have to do now is we have to refresh this pot. So strain it, run it under cold water, and this is gonna, you're gonna feel like this quite little silky like texture run off. That's what you want. That's the starch, the excess starch, what you don't actually want in your water. So here we're gonna go. It's still in its beautiful shape, not sticking together, not gluey, is what we're after. And there, add some more water back to the pot, bring it back to a boil, and you're gonna reheat your pasta just before ready to serve. Just a couple little extra things that we can do to make sure this pasta is extra next level. We're gonna sear off some mushrooms, sear off the pesto, add our pasta in, happy days. Just grab your mushrooms, and you can get any ones that are local from the farmer's market. Just kind of slice them slightly in half. The mushroom flavor would take care of itself. And just before adding our pesto to anything, it's now that I'm gonna add our acidity, in this case using lemon. The reason why I didn't add this legend earlier was I didn't want it to discolor our green, beautiful looking pesto. By adding it, it would have uh, you know, discolored it slightly. Olive oil into a pan, test with one. We'll get there eventually. Just gonna add the rest in. 
water's back to a boil. Let's get our pasta. Again, season with salt. Boom, pasta goes in with that pesto. To start off with, a couple of spoonsfuls. Now, here's the beautiful thing about this pesto. You can use it for anything. Rub it on a sourdough, have it for a little wrap. Anything you want to make sure that you can take it to the next level, whether it be a salad, a bowl, a pasta. This thing is super versatile. You can see our pesto is sticking together, but there is a reason why we're gonna keep our lovely pasta water. Now, when I was younger, I used to throw my pasta on the ceiling to let you know if it's done or not. I think I'm fine on this one. Ooh, yeah, we're game on. Okay, so quickly strain this. Add starchy water. Yeah, look at that color. So you can see the water has really invigorated our lovely pesto. From here, we're gonna to toss in our pasta. One pot win, just like that. Add some creamy nature to this. You can do two things. You can add our vegan cashew cream cheese. If you're on a really quick time schedule, just some almond or coconut milk will be fine. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited for dinner. And a little bit of olio, just to finish. And there you have an easy Tuesday night dinner team. Very simple, quick, and of course, super tasty. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If you think someone or one of your friends or family members would love this, make sure you share it with them so they can see it. It can be a hint that you're gonna create it for them as well. And of course, comment down below if you need anything. All the ingredients are on the website. And of course, if you wanna see more, make sure you hit subscribe team. I'm Dan Churchill, I'm DC. I'll catch you next week for another healthy recipe idea.